ask you before I take this back to Angela, like you said that at one point you thought your career was over, nothing meaningful was ever going to uh, come your way. At that yeah. point, at that point, would you feel, did you feel invisible? Did you feel overlooked? Did you feel patronized? Uh, what was the attitude? Was there complete invisibilization or was it more like marginalization? No, it was. That's a really great question. And it was never over. It was just that I stopped taking roles that were not meaningful to me anymore, you know. Um, and there was always those roles that the doctors and the nurses and, you know, the, the, the subsidiary of the subsidiary roles available to me. But because I came into acting so late, I had a, you know, I just, I, and our careers are so brief. Or, you know what, that was a, that was a, 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 a thought that I held before and, and that's changing. But I just felt like unless I was doing work that was meaningful for me, and by meaningful, I mean work where I could show up completely as a complete human being, a uh, work there where I could talk about subjects um, that were important to me. You know, my, I, I don't know if you know, but my family is riddled with um, stories of addiction and depression and sexual violence. And that's not only my nuclear family, it extends, it reverberates throughout generations. And, and how come I'm doing roles that have nothing of that complexity? Um, why am I showing up to do roles where I have to leave my entire self behind uh, when I walk in. And that's really the shift of Never Have I Ever. One of the biggest things is when I walk through, you know, the door of the set, I bring my complete self to set. And that's mm -hmm. such a unique gift. 